Drinking a glass of wine at 8 o'clock on a Wednesday in July in quarantine. Cheers. Hey you guys, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new around here, please be sure to click that subscription button and the bell down below to be updated for each and every future video. The week that you guys are seeing this, I am actually taking the week off from all videos, creation, editing, uploading, online teaching, and right now, clearing my entire music classroom into storage and beginning the journey of cart teaching. I will definitely be filming more, especially as it will be my first year cart teaching during a pandemic to update you guys on like how it's going, struggles and things. But uh, for right now, needless to say, this week is really busy because right now I am prepping for this trip. I'm filming this on Wednesday, July 29th. I'm trying to get three weeks worth of videos filmed edited, rendered, and uploaded. That way when I'm with my family, you know, I can really focus and be present with them. And also I am not doing out school or VIP kit or any consultation or anyone else's video editing. Also, I don't have a lot of snacks right now. So I'm gonna have this wine with a Nature Valley Trail Mix bar. Lovely, it's basically a party. And for anybody wondering what kind of wine I am drinking, it is the Acronym Shadow Red Blend. In other words, it was what was on sale at Kroger, but it's actually pretty good. Anyway, you guys have been asking me a lot of questions about out school and the potential, how much money you can make. And first and foremost, I do wanna say that I love out school, but I never wanna think of it as a cash cow. I never wanna think of it as something that you become rich from. I like to think of it as an opportunity to keep kids learning in coursework and things that they have interests in. Kind of like an adult version of Skillshare. So I wanna first and foremost say that if you are getting into out school purely for money, I highly suggest you reconsider because you won't be as engaged to wanna answer their questions and really you know, push the learning and the imagination of these kids. But the one story I will share with you guys is the time I received the highest amount of money I have ever made in out school, close to the most money I've ever made in a 25 minute period. I'm trying to think of like union gigs, but they were never by the hour, they were more by the day. But one story I will share with you was, a few weeks ago, I got approached by an out school learner's parent, and she had taken a few classes with me, like piano and voice and theater and script reading and a few things, and her parents approached me, uh, they had my email, so they just said, hey, we would like to set up a sing-along like birthday party kind of class for their daughter. They knew that I knew Disney and her the daughter loved Disney and she had planned a themed Disney birthday that couldn't happen because of, you know, social distancing. So they were gonna do a party over Zoom and they wanted to use me as like, the entertainer, I guess. Think of it like piano bar, but instead of alcohol, it's kids and birthday cake over Zoom. So what they did is this mom and dad, they were great. They gave me a list of this learner's favorite Disney songs and movies, and they wanted like sing along. So I was learning songs left and right. I was getting trivia ready. I got happy birthday ready and a few keys for them. It was really like a full birthday party. The little girl knew that some of her friends were gonna come, but she did not know that I was invited and a few other friends she had actually made on out school were coming. So. When they came time to open presents, they like pulled a laptop over and put headphones on her and we all sang a bunch of Disney songs and she loved it. We had a total of 13 learners. I do have to call them learners because this was technically a private class, even though it was a birthday party. It was treated on the schedule like a class and I put it together and we made sure all the kids were in the right section and everything and there were 13 kids there. The class lasted 25 minutes. We did a bunch of songs, trivia, happy birthday, and then I let her pick a song. I am lucky enough to have played enough piano that if I can get chords in front of me, I can play virtually any song. If I know the piece and I know the chords, like, we can do it. And piano bar, sing along, it's fine. So in essence, this entire class was 25 minutes long. I let it go to 30 just because I talked to them for the last five minutes and asked her like what she loved about her birthday and her and her brother played with a pinata and all the kids got to answer questions and play games and everything. No one was muted. It wasn't like a structured you're right, you're wrong class. It really was just a private sing-along class and the parents had structured it with me. Each learner paid $20 for this birthday class 
and there were 13 of them. So in essence, I made $260 in a 25 minute period. Now, two things I wanna state, that's $260 gross. OutSchool takes 30% of that, so. Hey Google, what's 70% of 260? It'll be like 185 or something. The answer is 182. 82, so close. So after OutSchool takes its cut, I did make $182, which is still a lot of money to make in a 25 minute period. But also, I didn't just take two clicks of the mouse and have everything set up. I was learning songs, setting up trivia, making sure everything was as they wanted it because this wasn't a class that kids could search in the catalog. This was, again, a child's birthday party. And this is what they wanted, what they asked for, and it was great. I've never had that happen before. I've never seen that offered on OutSchool before. And honestly, it was great. I don't know how to go about catering or advertising that sort of thing. That's not what I'm about. But the fact that a parent remembered me in a single class their child took and came back and said, Kristen, we'd really like it if you could help make our daughter's birthday just a little bit more special in quarantine. Do you mind playing some songs for us? And she likes these videos and these movies. So if you can find trivia that you know she would enjoy, we could play together. And I said, of course, why not? It was weird, it felt like all the skills I had acquired being a singer on a cruise ship, knowing all these songs, learning the instruments, and we have to do things like run trivia and be personable with guests. It felt like it all came together in this one 25 minute class. So to those parents, I thank you. You were wonderful in being creative. And to any other teacher watching this, just remember, even if your class only has two or three learners in it, you never know if those two or three are gonna remember you, recommend you to their friends, or invite you to play happy birthday at a child's 10-year-old celebration over Zoom. You, you really never know. And that's why I always push in these videos to really focus on the learning and the experience of the kids and remember that your skills are what you're teaching. And the amount of learners in your first couple weeks is not a direct correlation of you. You just have to learn to get into your groove, figure out the product that you are giving to the kids, and honestly find ways to not sell it but keep them interested for me i like to always ask every five minutes if anyone has any questions or if i can clarify anything then i always make sure in the last two to three minutes of the class if i'm screen sharing i turn that off i make sure everybody is unmuted and i i ask them one final time do we have any questions here? You know, there are no bad questions. I just wanna make sure we all understand or everybody got their questions answered and everybody got the feedback they were looking for if we're doing a feedback-based class. Cheers, two more days and then vacation. By the time you're seeing this, I'm like three days in. Speaking of vacation, I mentioned I'm filming these in advance to go visit my family. And that is because we have officially canceled our honeymoon. I almost said yay to that. But we decided that 2020, was not our year. We were supposed to go mid-June. We pushed it back to early August, thinking maybe things will clear up. We were going to a couple islands in Hawaii. And at first, the travel ban in Hawaii was supposed to end on Tuesday the 28th. So yesterday, my time, and well in the past when you see this. And then we found out just last week that they were continuing their travel bans well into late August and even September. So we called up our travel agent. We never use travel agents, but in a trip this extravagant, it was over like a week and a half, all-inclusive, hotel, all lodging, transportation, food, and excursions all include us. This was a very hefty trip to say the least. But we decided to push it back, A, for safety purposes, hello screensaver, and B, because we didn't wanna go when it could still potentially be unsafe and when you're paying all this money to go, you want everything to be open. And even though the travel ban may have been lifted, there were several companies and parts of the resort that could have been closed. So. For our safety, the safety of others, and a continued travel ban, we are going to reschedule for some time in 2021. I will keep you guys posted if and when that ever happens. We decided we wouldn't vlog or like do any specific filming on our honeymoon, but if we ever did something cool and wanted to share it, like just get some clips or like do a day on the beach, we might do something fun like that, but we will see. In place of our honeymoon that would have been the first couple weeks of August, we, like I said, are gonna go visit my family. Some of them are still in treatment for recovery from the accident. We will also do a film video on that well in the future, like well in the future, and we can talk about all those things. So 
kind of sad to have to reschedule a honeymoon during a pandemic, but happy that we are still taking that week. We're still going to honor the time off that we have set. My husband from his job and me from all of my out school VIP kid YouTube and the fact that I am setting up for cart teaching. And that's really my update. I thought I'd just come here, have a little bit of wine, one bite apparently of that Nature Valley bar and tell you guys a little story about the time I played for a child's birthday party on out school and it was treated like a class and the parents were great and really respectful and it was awesome. If you ever get the chance to do anything cool like that, I highly recommend it and cheers to those who are still willing to learn and educate kids even in this pandemic. So that's all for this video. I hope you guys liked it. Let me know if you like this filming space. If it works out well, I will keep it for a while. It's just kind of nice to be able to sit, get the lumbar support that I need, and I can use the lighting from my lamps and my monitor. So I hope you like it because it's really comfortable right now for me to film here. Give this video a huge thumbs up. It really helps out the channel. I hope that in August we can get closer to hitting the 10,000 subscriber milestone. Take care, you guys. Be nice to each other, be kind, and I will see you guys in a future video. Bye. This is like my new little office setup for future videos, and I actually really like it. It's kind of weird to say, but I really do. The lighting is a good situation for me. I'm a big old fan.